Oh man. What's up YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. It's day 21 of quarantine here in Los Angeles and today we're gonna look at Help on the Way by the Grateful Dead. Let's go. So like I mentioned before, today we're looking at Help on the Way by the Grateful Dead. Personally, my favorite Grateful Dead song of all time. When I go see Dead and Company, Help on the Way is all at the top of my list of the songs that I want to see played live. It's amazing. Awesome riff. And then those arpeggios into Slipknot and then Franklin's Tower. Come on. That's awesome. So let's dive more into it. So Help on the Way is in the key of F minor. And there's so many cool riffs, so many cool licks in this song that let's dive into it. So the main idea of the song is... So let's dive into that first segment. Now remember, the key of the song is F minor. And that first riff, you're basically spelling out an F minor chord. Root, third, fifth, fourth, second, flat seven, root. One more time slower. Again. Then you're going to spell a C minor triad. So you'll do your F. But when you get to that B flat, you go down a minor third to the G. Then you have your E flat, which is a third, or minor third in C minor, and your root. And right there you just spelled out a C minor triad. So together, one more time. So F minor, C minor now. So far so good. Then the chords come and it goes C minor, plain old C minor chord, E flat major triad, F minor sus4, F minor. And it goes to that D. So all that together, we have... Second time it goes through, is that exact same pattern. But this time it goes. And lands on that F. Then comes my favorite part. You're going to spell out an F minor triad. You're going to slide it into an F minor triad again here because you have your minor third on the D string on the 6th fret, your 5th on the 5th fret of the G string, and your root 6th fret of the B string. A flat major, then A flat diminished. 
because that D would be the flat five. So we have F minor, A flat, A flat diminished. So together we have. Then do an arpeggio. So far we have. Then now comes the, honey, it's you. So we have. You can go C minor, B flat major, A flat major, then A flat major seven. So all together. And then back to the riff. And when you're soloing, you'll most likely stay in F minor, but you can also look at it in some areas where you're on the fretboard as A flat major because those are the relative to each other. So that's help on the way. Have fun, practice it. <laughs>